Hey guys, Trevor here with eCommerce Paradise High Ticket Dropshipping Masterclass. In today's video, I'm going to show you the top 10 niches for high ticket dropshipping in the bedroom. So let's take a look. If it's your first time watching this channel, definitely subscribe to the channel and leave a comment below and let me know where you're from and what niches interest you the most. And if you are a new member of the eCommerce Paradise Academy, definitely get my free niches list. Go to ecommerceparadise.com slash 99 niches where you can discover the top 99 most profitable high ticket dropshipping niches so you can have a easier time getting your new business started and building more businesses beyond that. All right, so we are on house.com and I'm going to take a look at some high ticket dropshipping categories of products that are very profitable. So first and foremost, beds. Beds are very profitable and there's lots of different types of beds out there that you can sell online. Um, panel beds, platform beds, sleigh beds, canopy beds, bunk beds, loft beds, adjustable beds, Murphy beds, day beds. So beds are in the furniture category and furniture is very competitive and you also find that some of the furniture suppliers as well will not have a MAP price and MAP stands for minimum advertised price. It's something that we require of all of our suppliers because otherwise we can't compete as easily with the big box stores. So beds are one of those categories that's kind of tough to sell, but if you find a sub niche of beds that's really good, then you'll be able to compete better. And one of those sub niches of beds that we found that works great is adjustable beds. So I'd like to tell you guys about this one. It's a really good category. The suppliers do have map pricing and you can definitely check that out. All right, let's go back to the bedroom now and take a look at a few more categories here. Bedding is going to be low cost, so you could open a separate store, maybe even a print-on-demand store for bedding, but it's not going to be something that's going to work for high-ticket dropshipping. You could offer bonuses and add-ons and things like that with your high-ticket dropshipping products, but it's not going to be like a main offer kind of a thing. And a similar thing for anything in bedroom decor, uh, most of these things are going to be low to you know mid-ticket, nothing high-ticket. Uh, there are going to be some things like big wall mirrors and stuff like that that might work, but generally speaking, it's going to be somewhere around you know one to three hundred dollars in in average um, price point, so it's not going to be that profitable. Um, but any of these bigger furniture categories are profitable. So things like dressers are great. Again, they're in the furniture niche though, so a lot of suppliers often will not have matte pricing. Some that do make more unique styles of dressers in different and very unique styles, um, you know, like farmhouse or uh, rustic and things like that, you know. Um, taking a look at more furniture categories, there's some great ones like uh, futons, but futons are a little bit lower price on average, so I wouldn't really recommend opening a store there to sell that. But there are some great uh, other furniture categories like chase lounge chairs. And generally speaking, I would say if you're going to open a, a store in the bedroom category, since there's so few main products that are in the bedroom category, I would probably lump it in with something else like a store in the home category, like general home niche. Let's say you're going to sell bedroom products alongside living products and lighting and decor and furniture. So if you look at the living room, there's lots of different styles here. And um, for instance, there's more categories you could sell, like different versions of sofas, um, sectionals, love seats, sleeper sofas, living room sets. And now you're, you got a little bit broader, so you can sell more categories. Uh, media storage is great, entertainment centers, media cabinets, media racks and towers, those are very profitable and there's lots of dropshipping suppliers for those. Different types of chairs like armchairs and accent chairs, recliner chairs, um, chase lounge chairs, gliders, rocking chairs, dining chairs, hanging chairs, lift chairs are a very, very unique category and so are massage chairs. In fact, you could do a separate store in each one of these. Sleeper chairs, theater seating, I've seen theater stores that are very, very profitable so definitely would consider doing those. Right, let's take a look at some more categories here. Uh, if you're looking at artwork, I wouldn't recommend that because th there are you know very few dropshipping suppliers that have map pricing and stuff like that. And the ones that do, it's not very easy to get sales for because there's a ton of competition for them. Uh, let's go to the next ones and window treatments. Um, lower priced, so I wouldn't go for that. And there's more like benches, ottomans, dining benches, things like that. Um, kind of a lower priced product, but there's high priced versions of them, so you can definitely sell those. All right, so that's most of the bedroom and the living room. Let's see if there's any other stuff that goes along that that makes sense. Let's take a look at furniture and lighting. So this kind of goes along with everything else we were just talking about. 
In fact, it kind of lumps it into other categories when you're just talking broad furniture. But if you're talking like dining room, they got dining room tables, dining room sets, dining chairs, bar stools and counter stools, buffet and sideboards, kitchen islands and carts. We talked about that in the kitchen niches video. Bar carts, china cabinets and hutches, pantry cabinets, pub and bistro tables, pub and bistro sets, dining benches, baker's racks, tables, tops and bases, seat cushions, folding tables. All these are profitable categories. So you can build a store out with lots of categories like this and run Google Shopping ads and make plenty of money. Um, all right, guys, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Just to give you an idea of the categories that are profitable within bedroom furniture, even some living room stuff there and some uh, dining room stuff as well, um, just because the bedroom niche is kind of small as far as furniture goes, as far as the possibilities. Um, but just think about any niche you go into. Think about like a rich person's house, like people with lots of disposable income. What kind of things do they have in there? They've got like really cool things. Like I've seen in people's bedrooms in big houses, giant beds and big screen TVs and, and huge, you know, uh, rugs, all sorts of crazy stuff. And even things like electric fireplaces and, um, and they even might have their own private patio. So some patio furniture and, um, all sorts of different types of decor and maybe even some musical equipment if they're a musician or, um, you know, different things. So, you know, get creative and think about that. Your target client is always going to be the person with a lot of money to spend who likes to shop online. So usually someone who makes over a hundred thousand a year and somebody who has a big house. And that's definitely your ideal client. So um, think about that as more, guys. And if you're interested in getting my niches list, go to ecommerceparadise.com slash 99 niches where I explore more categories. And if you want my free mini course on high ticket dropshipping secrets, you can go to ecommerceparadise.com slash secrets to get in there. And I have my high ticket dropshipping masterclass open for enrollment for a limited time for a limited amount of students. So if you're interested in starting your store and getting fast started, that's the best way to go. I have three packages available. EcommerceParadise.com slash masterclass is where you can go to get all the information there. I have my gold package, which is my starter. I have my uh, platinum package, which includes private coaching, and a diamond package, which includes a done-for-you store build service plus private coaching. So get in there, guys. Um, get excited. And um, this is an awesome business opportunity. I think it's the best one out there for beginners, especially if you have a high paying job, you have maybe some retail or sales experience, and you're looking to open your own online store that can start making sales right away. You don't have to wait months and months and months for SEO rankings for your affiliate site or something like that. If you are in that position where you have a high paying job and not a lot of time, I do have a team that builds stores for people like you. So definitely check that out. It's at ecommerceparadise.com slash turnkey. You can apply for my turnkey store uh, done for you business in a box package where I actually build you an entire business online and you take it over and you begin to run it from there. So if you're interested in that, again, ecommerceparadise.com slash turnkey and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.